Hi, this is Justin, you're watching wingsound.com. Let's say you're ready to lay down a solo. What you would normally do is open up a huge amount of audio tracks and it's gonna get real confusing. So what I'm gonna show you how to do is make a playlist in Pro Tools, so this way all your solo takes are on one channel. It's really easy, it'll get you going. You could A-B all your solos and fit your mix perfect. Check it out. And I'm going to explain three reasons why you'd want to use playlists in Pro Tools. Okay, so the first reason would be if you're doing multiple takes of something. Let's say, for example, a guitar solo, you want to try out different notes and different timing. You can make a playlist and in instead of creating a bunch of different audio tracks to record these guitar takes on. So I have this track right here that I've named vocal and I'm going to just record some vocal real fast just to show you how to create that playlist. Hello, take one, take one, this is take one. Okay, so there's my take one audio that I've created. And I want to do that over. So all you gotta do is go to this little arrow over here, click on it, and go to new. And now your playlist window shows up and you can name your new playlist. So it names vocal 0.01 is the default but you can name it whatever you want so there you go now that audio is gone and you have a free track to record over which i'll do again hello take two take two take two okay so there's my vocal second take now if you want to switch through them all you gotta do is click that arrow and there you go and you could switch through your vocal takes now an another reason why you might want to do this is if you want to process this with your audio suite plugins so all you do is highlight and copy it oh make a new playlist and then paste it onto that or you can just go here click the arrow again and go to duplicate and then it'll make a new playlist so there it is right there now, I want to just put a reverb on it real fast. Process that. And now there's my vocal reverb. Hello, take two, take two, take So now there's my processed audio. And let's say I want to go back. Hello, take two, take two. And there you go. And then you could switch whatever take you like better. Now, another reason why you'd want to use playlists is if you if you're making multiple mixes. Now, if you want to do, you know, a vocal louder or the guitar louder, you can create a new playlist and and just have them very easily to you to check your mixes however you'd like. You can always get in touch with Justin at WinkSound.com and check out more of Justin's videos, including these titles featuring the new Pro Tools 8, now available on demand at WinkSound.com.